Hey everybody, welcome to Rider Guider. I'm Neil, your host for this week's shenanigans. This week's shenanigans is uh, a bit of a review and uh, a lot of my regular viewers and people who've watched the channel recently that are fans of the T7 will know that I've been on a bit of a quest because my T7 became a bit of a fat git. I've been removing parts, swapping parts over, etc. to make it lighter. Saved about 15 kilos. One of the things that I've taken off the bike uh, is the centre stand. It was weighed about four or five kilos, I don't know the exact weight, quite a hefty item. And when you're at home, it's not a problem doing maintenance. You get a paddock stand, easy as. However, out on the trail, we've got a problem then, or a challenge if you need to, rolling repairs, running repairs, punctures, etc. And if you need to lift a wheel, it can become a bit of an issue. As we know, a lot of people have got different uh, ways of doing that when they're out on a ride and if they get stuck they might need something like this now this is a, a track stand I've bought this from uh, a guy called Colin at uh, he's got a little business in out in Western Australia called ride with me and he's in, along with in conjunction with I think a local engineer he's knocked these together and if you have a good close look at this this is a nice track stand it's got the usual beautiful always pawn welding as I call it it's a nice looking thing and it's got some nice features and benefits so I'm going to show you how it works so even if you did have a center stand getting your front wheel in the air it can still be a problem if you're on your own ideally you'd need a lot of weight on pillion so somebody can then you know tilt the bike backwards on the on, 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 on the on the center stand to lift the front wheel off the ground it's still a problem when you've got a track stand it's not a problem. Now, of course, if you're going to be loosening your wheels uh, to do any rolling repairs, it's best to do it while all the wheels are on the floor. So, for example, if I'm going to be doing my front wheel, crack the nuts first and then get to work. So what we're going to do now, I've, imagine I've cracked the nuts. I've got my T7 spanner here, which I would have used to do the, um, the wheel nut removals, etc. So what I'm going to do as well now, I'm on soft ground. I'm going to utilise this, you can find anything, a bit of wood or whatever, or a coke can flattened, or you might be lucky enough to have a large camel type foot underneath your uh, side stand. So what I'm going to do to make sure it doesn't sink, is just slide that to there, I could actually use that, that there, and that's, that's going to give me quite a decent bit of support. So when it, that'll hold, stop the bike sinking a little bit, you can find anything for that. Let's go down here. Now what I'm going to show you now is the actual stand and a couple of the features. First and foremost, of course, one thing I forgot to mention, of course, if I'm going to be lifting the front wheel off the ground, I need to put the bike in gear to stop it rolling away. So we'll do that. Uh, if I come around here, we'll stick it in gear, which means it won't go anywhere now if I then lift my front wheel, it's going to be safe. Now, this I'll come to later. We've got a little bit of Velcro there. I'll show you how that works shortly. Now, the feature of this is it works for both front and rear. And we've got a little, what do you call a nub in there. I'll show you how that works in a second. This section here will be for the swinging arm at the back end if you're doing the rear end so but we're going to do the front wheel first now every bike's different of course i'm lucky that i've got the axp composite bash guard and it actually has some vents and holes in and you can actually use, i can actually use that as is but i wasn't 100 percent happy with it but i've drilled a hole further forward where that goes you see the hole there that goes into there at this point we're looking at getting the right adjustment on this so what we get an idea of is possibly let's see where we're at with that you can see how that works so we'll get these the, all these, there's four different holes you can see how it works so this is what we're going to do here is put that into there into that hole clear the way a little bit and what i'm going to do now i'm in gear left hand lock and I can literally push the bike away. Not, not heavy at all. Now look what we've done. We've got a spinning wheel. 
now this is a sturdy house, absolutely sturdy house because I'm in gear. I can now work on my front wheel. And now, of course, it's, it's spinnable. I can work on the front wheel. If you look at that angle here, down there, I'm at a vertical height. I could possibly go even higher if I wanted to. Not difficult. You do your work, you take your wheel off, do your repair, put it back on. And at that point, what you do, go back to there, kick it out and you're back on the ground again. That gives you support for your front end. Quite decent. Now this time we're going to be lifting the back end. I'm going to show you how this stand works for that. Now of course slightly different. We have a little bit of velcro. Now this comes with the stand and this is for your front brake because of course you're lifting the front wheel off the back wheel off the ground we need to be locking the front wheel so we use the front brake now i reckon this bit of velcro that uh, colin from ride with me has supplied could do with being a little bit longer however not a problem it still works it's just i've lost a bit of velcrosity that's a word i've just made vel vel velcrosity velcrosity I like that and it's just a little bit short for me partly because I've got heated grips because it's a thicker grip so what I'll do instead in this instance and everybody carries these if they don't carry them you need to be doing I'm going to be using a tie wrap to make sure I can get my front brake on if you're bringing tie wraps you've also got to make sure you bring snips otherwise you won't be able to break them off again. So that's it, front, front brake's on. Okay, so we've now got the front brake on. Front end's locked in place. What we do is we start looking at how we lift the back end and every bike's gonna be different. Side stands down, that's secure on a solid bit of ground underneath that side, uh, that, that tool. Now, what I'm gonna do is lift the back end, like so. Very easy, you just put a bit of shoulder weight into it. And now we've got a spinning wheel. And that is as secure as. How cool is that? And I can start working on the back. So if I want to then, now I've got my loose nuts, I can take the wheel off, do my repair. Again, same situation for removing it. Just a bit of movement. Piece of piss. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Now, one little feature that comes with this track stand is I've got this little nubbin and I'll put it up on screen now. This came with this kit and it's an extra bit of uh, equipment. Now if you come down here and have a look, I've actually now fixed it here. Now I've got an extra large bolt here, as you can see. Now this here is also an option for this mount. So I can put the stand there instead. So what I'll do, I'll put that to there. I actually think this is a better, more secure way of doing it. So again, if I just push the bike, oh, I can actually do it from here. Now I reckon that's a bit more secure. It's a lovely way of doing it. Very neat track stand, lovely. I can get them to work on the bike, wheel off, punch repair, brake repair, whatever we're doing, reinstall it, comes to taking it off again. Just kick it out, happy days. That is the track stand. I will put a link to Colin's website and this particular item in the description for the video and also in the first comment which I'll pin to the top. Hope you like it. Um, what does that cost me currently? $79. Now, I don't think that's too bad when you consider, well, the cost of a centre stand, which also makes your bike a bit fat. Whereas this one, 350 grams. So happy days and a, a nice quality item. So yeah, that'll do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.